Almost 2,000 children a year develop brain tumors in the United States. Children's Hospital is performing a new type of surgery to remove them for the very first time, Michelle. It's going to give patients more options at Children's. I met a young, brave patient who was the first one to undergo the procedure there, and he's heading into high school this year with a whole new outlook on life. Trouble walking was the first sign to Travis that something was wrong. Turned out to be a small tumor in his brain. Everyone knew me as the kid with the tumor, and I just wanted that over with. I didn't want to be known as the one that had the problem. That's hard as a mom. That, that always hurt. Um, he would get upset about that. But I'm so glad that he knows that he's not that anymore. He's not that anymore because of a procedure called endoport guided tumor resection. For the first time ever at Children's Hospital, doctors were able to make a tiny incision behind his ear right above the tumor and basically suck it out rather than opening the skull. It would have been a, a bigger approach and it would have, uh, I think, put him at more risk for brain swelling, uh, a more complicated post-operative course. Because if they would have hit anything, part of the brain, they said I could have had like facial twitches or some uh, like hand problems like movements. So I think it was much safer. The new way reduces the risk of brain injury and also significantly reduces recovery time. Travis was out of the hospital in three days, but he does have one special hospital memory. When he was first diagnosed, Pittsburgh Steeler Troy Palamalu walked into his hospital room to wish him well. They even exchanged phone numbers, and Troy calls periodically to check on Travis. It's exciting when we see Palamalu Troy on the caller ID but it always puts a smile on his face. And when he calls, it always seems to work out that that's when Travis kind of needs to be uplifted. Hmm. And you know they're looking forward to telling Troy how today's checkup went. Travis's surgery was July 7th, and at today's doctor's visit, the doctor said everything looked just great. He's going to have another MRI in three months, and then in six months, and then just once a year. But it looked good. Yeah,